Hi, welcome back to another video in this series. The last video, thank, thank you if you watch it. I perform some firewall rule-based management. And in this video, we're going to implement some secure socket layer VPNs using the ASA, uh, Cisco ASA device manager. So I'll just get right into it. So that's our first exercise is implementing a clientless SSL VPN using the Cisco ASA device manager. All right, so first we're gonna configure a clientless SSL uh, VPN or secure socket layer. All right, so let me actually <clears throat> uh, swivel over to this server here. All right, need our AFDM monitor. Um, Okay, let's take a little while here. All right, so we've got that going here. Perfect. Perfect. Now we're in, we're in, we're in ASDM. All right, perfect. So let's actually go to the configuration to make sure we are in the RAB, all right, perfect. Um, the, as I mentioned, the client list secure socket layer. <clears throat> all right, um, all right, so. Perfect, let's see. Yeah, that's fine. All right, perfect. Now that we got Fred added, should have, should have made a mic of God, but whatever. So, policy. Of course, look at the managing here. Right. Uh, here we go here. Right. Um, all right. So this has been added, so we can hit OK. Now, what I'll just probably for when I already did all of this, but uh, but nonetheless, we can uh, say it's like, okay. Oh, because <laughs> I apparently have it already. Let's see. I'll actually go keep that one. 
All right, perfect. So we're good there. Good next. Mm -hmm. um, the end. All right, perfect. Oh, well, that's fine. I didn't need it. All right, perfect. So we're good to go on this end. Let's actually go here. Press tab, extended, CLI. So let's do that here. We're going to go to this site here. If you want to work today. Perfect. There we go. <clears throat> yep, that is fine. We like dangerous things, right? Perfect. Not for this site at all. All right, so I logged into the bookmark that I created, right, in the uh, the other server. So I'm, if we notice that the DMZ web underscore web URL is grayed out when we hover over it, so a pop up. Um, it, it it shows the reason. I'm not sure if it popped up later here. It usually does whenever I do perform this lab. So the result is I actually need us to host the um, to add a host entry for the server uh, as, because the ASA can't can't resolve the address. So I'll have to do it for them. All right. So let's actually go here. Do that. Figure this terminal. I can type. Right. Uh, perfect. So let's go back. There we go. So I want to notice also that now the ASDM is showing out of sync. So whenever we configure something, uh, on the CLI and the ASDM software is open. This message usually appears, but I'm just going to refresh it and it'll be right back to our latest configuration. So uh, let's see. Actually, we can re go back here and refresh this. See if I can refresh it here. Perfect. So now we see it's no longer gray. We can actually click the link. All right. And what just happened? There it is. All right. So now what we can do is implement any connect all right, using the Cisco ASA device manager. So uh, first, what we're going to do in order to accomplish this is configure the any connect client. So um, we're just going to connect to actually this is okay. All right, perfect. So this is not where I want to go. All right, perfect. So we're good here. Again, let's configure this terminal. All right, and let's see. Take a look here because this is can say that because that's not possible. The key is not found. I'll fix that. All right. So that's fine, because um, I, I was going to have have them removed if they weren't found there anyway. We just want to ensure that there was no existing identity pair uh, that it existed. So let's actually swivel back over to management here. And uh, here. All right, perfect. Let's hit next. Okay. All right, so let's see.
All right, perfect. Internet is good. All right. All right, so these are good right here. <clears throat> so let's actually do a few things here. So add a new identity certificate. Uh, let's see here. And then, okay. All right, so that looks good. And we're going to add certificate. Actually, delete this. Let's start for a second. All right, so we finally got got it back up with not a small pickup here. All right, and then we want to add certificate, enrollment, good to go. All right, and we can actually hit OK here, and of course we can go next. All right. <clears throat> All right, so let's see. Let's go ahead next. Hmm. Okay. That's fine. Add this here. Okay. Now we're going to add, and this is good. Perfect. We're good. <clears throat> All right, so let's see. Local. That's good. Username. Wait, we're going to actually let me just take a look here. Um, Actually, let me get out of here. Yeah, I think it's on the left here. There it is. Okay. Perfect. All right, so all right, perfect. And I want an exempt. And then that's good. We want it inside. Local, we want the N4. And we want the IP. There it is. All right, perfect. Yep, that's good. That's good. All right.
perfect. So now we can see that the AnyConnect um, configuration has been added, right? You see that here, right? As far as the profile. Now, let's see, let's make sure we're still here. Let's take a look at the group policy. And we see the group policy, um, AnyConnect. So let's actually assign, right? And then of course we want to assign a spread. Perfect. <laughs> let's hit apply and then let's say goodbye. All right, perfect. So let's actually open back up Internet Explorer and we're going to head back to the same website. It may automatically log me in or it may not work at all. And then let's see. <clears throat> And I'll place this on the other side of this uh, for when it's finished. So even though I applied the change uh, and I restarted it, the process may uh, take a while and yeah, I'll get that again. Should start installing. Let's see. All right, that's fine. It, it's, <clears throat> it may be an error related to admin access, but um, since I'm using a, if I'm using, you know what, let me just fix this. All right, let me go back here. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay. Over here. All right, let's edit this here. All right. And, uh, there. Apply course. Then let's flip back here. Um, let me see. may kick me out. Now, because the routing is modified by the VPN client, um, maybe not not be able to connect. Um, the RDP connection uh, may drop. Let's see. Yep, there it is. Now, um, I'm just going to configure configure the split tunneling here. Let me swivel back over here. Actually, let me acknowledge that. Then let me swivel back here. <clears throat> okay. Then let's take a look here again. Then let's see.
So now the split tunnel, as we can see, is now added to the ACL manager. Um, right, so I'm going to select it again. <clears throat> this time I'm going to add the ACE, which is uh, pretty similar to adding a uh, secondary node. Um, let's see. I love it. All right, perfect. Let's apply. Perfect. I'm not going to switch back to the CLI. I can reconnect the VPN again. All right. Now, while it's loading in the real world, we we um, if you have a valid security certificate, this the install is should be a little bit smoother. However, it's good practice, right? To a few issues uh, normally, especially in the lab, to get the client up and running. So, and then once I'm connected, I'm going to test out the connection as well. So, it's too much longer. All right. So, the small little box went away. I think it gave me a, a message. It probably was very quick. But nonetheless, let's actually test out the remote connection. So let's see. Let's see. All right, first again, of course, that'll be here. Perfect, so we have remote access. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So we're good. And this just proves that the split tunneling is working and the VPN is operational. And it also proves that we are in, in, we are at the end of this video uh, for implementing a uh, secure socket layer VPNs in, using the Cisco ASA device manager. So just for a brief recap, we went over implementing a client list uh, secure socket layer VPN again, and also we implemented uh, uh, an AnyConnect uh, using uh, the Cisco ASA device manager as well. Uh, our next video is going to be configuring, uh, verifying, and troubleshooting port security. And I'll see you in that video as well. Thank you for watching. Stay curious, stay secure.